Hi, I'm Jody Glover, Principal Curriculum Developer for Oracle. I'm going to show you how to detach a PCIe endpoint device for an I.O. domain in Oracle Enterprise Manager UpCenter. In this example, we're going to detach the PCIe1 Ethernet device from the primary domain on the T2AO1 virtualization server. To detach the device, we'll need to open a terminal window. Make sure that you're logged in as the root user on the T2AO1 machine, and then enter the start reconf command to start a delayed reconfiguration on the primary domain. Next, use the set IO command to enable IO virtualization on the PCI0 bus. This is the bus to which the card is attached. Then use the remove IO command to remove the PCIe1 device from the primary domain. At this point, you could enter the add config command to save the configuration. For this example, though, we won't. And lastly, enter the shutdown command to reboot the T2AO1 server. After the server has rebooted, log in as the root user and enter the list.io command to view the list of I.O. resources. Verify that I.O. virtualization is now enabled on the PCI0 bus and the PCIe1 endpoint device is now removed from the primary domain. There should be nothing in the domain column for PCIe1. Return to Op Center. Notice that the I.O. Resources tab automatically is updated to reflect your changes. The PCIe1 endpoint device is now listed with a dash in the domain column, meaning it's available to be attached to an I.O. domain. You now know how to detach a PCIe endpoint device for an I.O. domain in Oracle Enterprise Manager Op Center. Thanks for watching.